An internet bot, also known as a web robot, robot or simply bot, is a software application that runs automated tasks, scripts, over the internet. Typically, bots perform tasks that are both simple and structurally repetitive, at a much higher rate than would be possible for a human alone. The largest use of bots is in web spidering, in which an automated script fetches, analyzes and files information from web servers at many times the speed of a human. More than half of all web traffic is made up of bots. Efforts by servers hosting websites to counteract bots vary. Servers may choose to outline rules on the behavior of internet bots by implementing a robots.txt file. This file is simply text stating the rules governing a bot's behavior on that server. Any bot that doesn't follow these rules when interacting with any server should in theory be denied access to or removed from the affected website. If the only rule implementation by a server is a posted text file with no associated program, software, app, then adhering to those rules is entirely voluntary. In reality, there is no way to enforce those rules or even to ensure that a bot's creator or implementer acknowledges or even reads the robots.txt file contents. Some bots are good. For example, search engine spiders. While others can be used to launch malicious and harsh attacks, most notably in political campaigns. Social bot is an agent that communicates more or less autonomously on social media, often with the task of influencing the course of discussion and the opinions of its readers. It is related to chatbots, but mostly only uses rather simple interactions or no reactivity at all. The messages, for example, tweets it distributes are mostly either very simple or prefabricated, and it often operates in groups and various configurations of it usually targets advocating certain ideas, supporting campaigns or aggregating other sources either by acting as a follower or gathering followers itself. In this very limited respect, social bots can be said to have passed the Turing test. If the expectation is that behind every social media profile there should be a human, social bots always use fake accounts. This is not different from other social media API uses. Twitter bots are already well-known examples, but corresponding autonomous agents on Facebook and elsewhere have also been observed. Nowadays, social bots are equipped with or can generate convincing internet personas that are well capable of influencing real people, although they are not always reliable. Social bots, besides being able to reproduce or reuse messages autonomously, also share many traits with spam bots with respect to their tendency to infiltrate large user groups. Using social bots is against the terms of service of many platforms especially Twitter and Instagram. However, a certain degree of automation is of course intended by making social media APIs available. Many users, especially businesses, still automate their Instagram activity in order to gain real followers rather than buying fake ones. This is commonly done through third-party social automation campaigns. The topic of illegal regulation of social bots is currently discussed in many countries. However, due to the difficulties to recognize social bots and to separate them from eligible automation via social media APIs, it is currently unclear how that can be done and also if it can be enforced. In any case, social bots are expected to play a role in future shaping of public opinion by autonomously acting as insistent and never tiring influencer. A vote bot is a type of internet bot that aims to vote automatically in online polls, often in a malicious manner. A vote bot attempts to act like a human, but voting in an automated manner in order to impact the result of the poll. A variety of vote bot programs targeted different of services from normal websites to web applications are sold online by individuals and groups. Like web crawlers, a vote bot can be customized to perform tasks in various environments or target different websites. Simple vote bots are easy to code and deploy, yet they are often effective against many polls online, as the developer of the poll software must take this kind of attack into account and do extra work to defend against it. 
In many voting projects, developers try to distinguish bots from legal users. They may use the strategy talked about below and the vote bots try to bypass their barriers or detecting methods to successfully vote at the website. For example, some websites restrict the number of votes one IP address can make in a time period. A vote bot can bypass this rule by proxy its IP address frequently to cheat the website. Another frequently used strategy is to analyze the account created by a vote bot to tell any difference from the normal accounts created by human beings or to analyze the action history of accounts in the system to find out potential vote bots creating ones. Vote bots, on the other hand, try to simulate human actions such as logging in and out as well as sharing some article in some social network before voting. A malicious use of bots is the coordination operation of an automated attack on a networked computers such as denial-of-service attack by a botnet. Internet bots can also be used to commit click fraud and more recently have seen usage around MMORPG games as computer game bots. A spam bot is an internet bot that attempts to spam large amounts of content on the internet, usually adding advertising links. More than 94% of websites have experienced a bot attack. There are malicious bots and botnets of the following types. Spam bots that harvest email addresses from contact or guest books pages. Downloader programs that suck bandwidth by downloading entire websites. Website scrapers that grab the content of websites and reuse it without permission on automatically generated doorway pages. Registration bots, which sign up a specific email address to numerous services in order to have the confirmation messages flood the email inbox and distract from important messages indicating a security breach. Viruses and worms, DDoS attacks, botnets, zombie computers, spam bots that try to redirect people onto malicious websites sometimes found in comment sections or forums of various websites. Bots are also used to buy up good seats for concerts, particularly by ticket brokers who resell the tickets. Bots are employed against entertaining event ticketing sites. The bots are used by ticket brokers to unfairly obtain the best seats for themselves while depriving the general public of also having a chance to obtain the good seats. The bot runs through the purchase process and obtains better seats by pulling as many seats seats back as it can. Boats are often used in massively multiplayer online role-playing games to farm for resources that would otherwise take significant time or effort to obtain. This is a concern for most online in-game economies. Boats are also used to increase views for YouTube videos. Boats are used to increase traffic counts on analytics reporting to extract money from advertisers. A study found that 54% of display ads shown in thousands of campaigns between May 2012 and February 2013 never appeared in front of a human being. Bots may be used on internet forums to automatically post inflammatory or nonsensical posts to disrupt the forum and anger users. The most widely used anti-bot technique is the use of CAPTCHA, which is a form of Turing test used to distinguish between a human user and a less sophisticated AI-powered bot by the use of graphically encoded human-readable text. Companies and customers can benefit from internet bots. Internet bots are allowing customers to communicate with companies without having to communicate with a person. One airline company has produced a chatbot that allows customers to receive boarding passes, check-in reminders and other information that is needed for a flight. Companies have made chatbots that can benefit customers. Customer engagement has grown since these chatbots have been developed. Chatbots are used on a daily basis. Google Assistant and Siri are considered forms of chatbots. Google Assistant and Siri allow people to ask questions and get a response using an AI system. These technological advances are positively benefiting people's daily lives. The bot landscape is complex and changing fast. But the fun part is that the space is so young that there are all kinds of discoveries still to be made. Take care.